Right. I've got Cot de Seal running in the background. So, to start off with Mitch. Uh, probably a good place to start is Options, which is down the bottom here, which is basically a general equipment setup screen. Um, you can save profiles, profiles, and load profiles, etc., etc. You just give it a plus on there, and it will automatically save it in its database. Um, the one I've set up here, profile two, is the one that I use. I've set that up for the um, Altair 183. So in the general tab, yours will come up with default, which is fine. Just start with that, but you can always add or sub delete one. I've got a copy there on my server, I'm not letting that in. So, and I've also got more than one default. So you can delete it, say yes, thank you very much. So plus to add, minus to detract. The one I'm using is that. Yeah, well, it says it can't reload it because I'm already loaded. Um, current color scheme, all these things are pretty um, pretty common sense, really. The um, one thing I do do, I, I've, you can set auto update. I do it to nightly so that if um, is born does a bug fix overnight then it will come up when I load with the option to um, install the new one. Um, there's a Sky Atlas directory you can read about that on the um, in the documentary uh, document whatever documentation um, that's just so that there's an option when you come to framing later so you just need to download the Atlas and the files and install them and then just tell them where they are. Uh, the next big thing, astrometry, obviously you need to put in your latitude and longitude just the same as the one that's on your um, on your handset, which should be fine, but I use the GPS off my mobile. That's fairly straightforward. You need to do that. Equipment, camera, this one is set up for the Altair anyway, so it will pick it up. Telescope, this is important. You need to put in your focal length. You give it a name as well. For Obviously, this applies to the profile that you we're playing with. Focuser, but uh, I've never touched that. <laughs> don't even know what it is. I haven't got a filter wheel, wheel or anything so for offsets, so I don't need it. Um, do, 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 obviously, put that all up there. Um, I sold my filter wheel. Too much hassle. Guider settings, you need to put those in, but it's pretty standard where a PhD is. It's program files, blah, blah, blah. Find the exe file and whack it in. Uh, I tend to leave everything else as default. Obviously, local host is, host is the server, always is on most things. The weather thing. Yeah, right, you can play with that at some time later, but it's not important at the moment. Imaging is the next tab in there. You need to put in where your image file path, where you want to save your images to. You can see I was up last night, July the 9th, I've set up a folder, so whatever. This section here is the extent, you know, the file name um, variables. Pretty straightforward, really. The default one comes up pretty good. I think the only one I've added is target name, which is, so you, you just put in, let me see, I'm not sure if you just um, double click it. it go, yeah, you double click it and it just pops in. Focus or temperature, well I haven't got one. Uh, temperature sensor for my focus. So you can just add them or delete them as you want to there. Pretty important. To get it's really handy having the target name because when you fill in free tomorrow you've got the target and the time and everything auto radio flip you can enable that if you like I haven't at the moment image options 
more or less left to the default, but you do want, want it to de-bear the image um, so that you can view it quite well and stretch it when you're looking in the image um, viewer later. Plate solving, pretty much like SG Pro. I'm using Plate Solve 2 and Astronomy Net. So you must know where your folders are stored for SG Pro, so you can use those. Um, but the settings are, are the lower half of the screen. So you just choose one. All, pl all Sky Plate Saver, there's the route to it there. I'm using Plate Solve 2 at the moment. Astronomy Net if I want to. Astap is supposed to be really good. But it doesn't. It keeps falling over for me. So, but uh, it was a bit difficult. I only put it on last night, and I never know because it was. What well, I thought my plate solving was all up the creek, and then ten minutes later, I had the bright idea to look out the the door, and <laughs> it was all cloudy. So there's no way it was ever going to work. Um, the last one on there on the list is Planetarium. Preferred Planetarium software. I liked Stellarium, but Cart sells fine. You'll see what that's about in a minute. And that's more or less the options bit done. Now, the next, the thing I would have done before I even open up um, Nina is I'll do a one star alignment on the mount. So the current one for me in this is um, Altair. I don't, it does not have to be perfect. I just say, I just slew to Altair, get it roughly in the crosshairs on the little finder scope I've got, click enter and the mount thinks it's fine and it's guiding on Altair, which is fine. So I'll do that first, one star alignment. My next task is I'll go to the imaging tab, tab which is on the, on the right here. And up here you've got a load of tools up on the left and if you click one it will install it as a, a an option down below a tab I've got if you if you reselect it where's the sequence one uh, over here oh no it's gone I've lost my sequence oh there it is sequence if you click it again it takes it off of the menu at the bottom which I don't mind actually because I don't usually look at the sequence in here, I just go back into it. So I've done a one star alignment. My next multiple task is to go to plate solving. Um, I'm using a 10 second exposure time, which was one of the, the options um, in the. Um, the basic options set up the exposure time I forgot to tell you that sorry so I'll go back to the so once I've done my one star alignment I'll go to image image in which is obviously one of these up here so you just click you get a little collection of the ones that you use most of, often and one of them is plate solving 10 seconds and I'll do a plate solve and click sync and re slew to target as well so click those two as well I can't do it at the moment because I'm not it's not night time and, I, and I'm I'm not doing a plate, plate solve or anything my next port of call once it's plate solved which it will it'd be fine is go to framing now at the moment if I go back to the sky chart in carts to seal and choose a target M63, I click on the target. You don't have to do it this way, but if this works, it usually saves a bit of yeah. So then, if I click on the coordinates uh, icon here, it will get the coordinates from cart to seal. Slap them in here. And I've chosen an image source, which is NASA. There's a, there's a few to play with. 
whichever one works best for you. Sky Atlas I tend not to use. I can't. It's too. It's too fiddly. You can try them all, but I, the NASA one seems to work well for me. So I'll go with that. And then what happens is your little image will come up. It might your image when it first comes up might be huge and what you usually find is it's the whole of the sky so you need to zoom out. The field of view I tend to leave it I tend to have it at three. So I've got my target. Now I'll slew to the target. I've done a plate solve so and sync. So Nina and then the, the, the mount they're all talking Altair at this moment in time, which is the one star I aligned to. Now I've chosen my new target, which is M63, and at this point I would say I would click slew and a bit of whirring and going, and it will go off and slew to the um, to the target. At which point I will go back into imaging and do a cross check plate solve or alternatively either either it doesn't take long anyway is take an image which is in imaging so I'll take a 20 second 30 second image I, it won't work at the moment because I'm connected to any equipment that's probably I've missed an option hey <laughs> at some point you need to connect all your equipment hence the reason this is trouble trying to rush this this thing. I've got a focuser as well. The equipment thing is in the air. You said you could connect all your equipment anyway. Guider I tend to leave until I'm starting to sequence. Now if I go back to imaging, because I've connected my equipment, I've got exposure time. So I can take an image. And I, I very often do that. So my camera's connected, so I wanted to take an image. One second, boom, deep airing, stretching image. Do, do, do. Now, if I click on the image tab, it's quite an exciting image with the cover, the lens cover on. So I've got a one second image. I think I'm a bit. So now I've slewn to the target, I've just taken an image of it, just to double check that I am in the right sort of ballpark, especially on a galaxy. Go back to the framing, now add as a sequence, so we want to add a sequence for this. Or if you move, you can move your image around by just grabbing it with the mat, with the cursor. So you want it in the center, say. Recenter the image. Takes a few few minutes to go back to NASA, <laughs> get the image and recenter it. Sort it. she comes no it's the wheel of death isn't it sometimes it'll go if it doesn't work eventually oh no you've lost connection right so now I can add that as a sequence and there you go so it will now come in go to the sequence. This first one is is a blank um, a blank sequence that you can either delete or just have it to off. I tend to delete it once I've got it. Just one of those things. That leaves the M61. The um, so it's pretty self explanatory up to here. So now we're just going to how many exposures and the time I have yet to work out how to click on this and get the the thing so that I can change it all in one go. Type in I'm 
two minutes is fine. Um, start guiding, you want that as on. Slew to target, on. Just click them. And I'll tend to have it center to target as well. I was doing that last night and it was really good. If you do that, it will do a plate solve within the sequence before it takes um, takes your starts taking images. Now, the other thing you might want to do if you're in frame while you're in framing is do is do um, a mosaic. So you, mosaics are really hence the reason I was trying to get make sure that my image is central and plate solve it so that I know it's absolutely spot on. Obviously if you add it just takes a few oh, it takes a few seconds to do this because I'm I'll connect it online to at to NASA. Now if you want to create a, a mosaic, just click on the the plus or minus here. So plus or minus blah 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 blah. And then add a, a replace that as that'll replace what I already had there as a new sequence. Blah blah boom. And there they all are at the top. So now it's just a question of setting your time and everything. It that one of the things it doesn't do that SG Pro does is stack these one above the other here. It's not built into the software yet. It is a one to do. It is on the list of to do list, I think. So once that's all done, set these two. You, you just do it for each individual one. What I tended to, what I was practicing with last night is the first panel center to target and each subsequent one don't. Because I figure, because it double checks that it is um, plate solved spot on initially on this on this sequence run here, and I figure, well, if it's that spot on, it it really sinks the mount and everything else in this position. Then once it's synced, it should be okay for these. So I tend not to center the target, just start guiding and slew to target on each one. And then hit the magic start sequence button and it will start the guider, slew to the target, send point plate solve the target, send to the target, and then start running. Now at that point I tend to go um, back to bed and um, set my my clock for getting up. Um, what it will do is give you in the imaging section down the bottom you've got uh, on the right it's on the left in that sorry you've got all the details of the meridian is the one I worry about because that means it's going to do a meridian flip so I'll make sure I set my alarm clock a good 20 minutes before then so that I can double check I quite like doing it that way it gets me I get to come down and check everything one thing or another um, what else do we want to know? Flats Wizard, pretty self-explanatory. You just click the button and off you go. So you can put your um, light panel um, or your notepad in front of the thing in the morning and it'll calculate them for you. Um, if you've got a focuser, one of the imaging options is autofocus. It's so much simpler than SG Pro. You just hit start auto focus um, and off it goes. One of the options in the focuser is to set up the step size. At the moment it's only on 10. I think my normal is 49 for my, my step. So you can just nip back to options and change that whatever your step size is but the imaging tab is the one that you probably spend most of your time in bear in mind all you got to get rid of anything if you click it up here on the top menu bar it removes it from the bottom one click it again we're back autofocus start autofocus and it just goes off and does it 
And I'll tell you what, I've been getting really, really good focus. Um, that is a whistle top tour. So, to recap, what I tend to do, I'll first off do a one star alignment, switch the mount on, do a one star alignment, load up Nina, connect the gear, do a quick plate solve, go to framing, choose my target, create the sequence, take an image if you um, take an image it's always worth just taking a basic image just to have a look just to cross check before you start say setting a taking a three hour sequence of pictures and then to come back and think that the the basic image is nothing like what you expect I'm gonna pause there because I've whistled through um, I hope this helps but but the thing is if you you can just simply ask me, bug me some questions, I'll see if I can answer them. But that's basically all I do, all I've been doing. Any other nuances, I'll just add them as I go. Like I say, the Meridian Flip, I haven't bothered with it. I haven't tried it out, but it's. I don't think there's an issue with it. I will do one of these dark evenings, but this time of year, because we're only getting about two hours of, um, well, two or three hours of good um, astrophotography. It didn't seem much point in using the Meridian Flip. Um, there you go. Give us a shout if you need any more. Cheers, Mitch, Dave.